Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. Today in Social Media Marketing, we will discuss about Social Media Analytics. Social Media Analytics plays a very very important role in analyzing your Social Media Marketing campaign. So, what are the key elements, the life cycle of Social Media Analytics? Let us check them out. What is Social Media Analytics? Basically, it is a leveraging tools to collect and analyze the data. You have social media presence, you are available on social media, you are actually engaging with the users and you need to understand how the user behavior is going on on your social media pages. How many likes you are getting, how many clicks you are getting, how people are engaging with you on the social media using the content that you are posting. These factors need to be analyzed thoroughly, comprehensively to understand how your social media campaign is faring, whether it is going in the right direction, whether it is meeting your objectives or not, these are the factors that need to be analyzed and this can be analyzed through social media analytics. That helps you in taking informed decisions. When you analyze, collect reports, generate reports, analyze reports, track reports, these reports will help you in taking informed decisions so that you can go on doing continuous improvement, optimizing your social media presence, changing or tweaking the content so that you get more and more engagement with the users. And this is in a nutshell what social media analytics is all about. Why use social media analytics? They help you understand the users, the user behavior, how the users are engaging with you, what they are talking about, what is that they are not talking about, how the engagement is working in your favor or is not working in your favor. Understanding the users is the fundamental basic point of a social media marketing campaign and you can understand the users through the analytics. Analyze the data, all the data that you collect, there are lot more data can, can be used and leveraged to understand the user behavior, to understand the success of your social media marketing campaign and that is extremely important. You analyze the data based on the reports you generate, you go on doing optimizing the pages of your social media marketing optimizing the social media pages, making sure that you tweak the content, you generate new content, you change the content or you update the content, you change the calendar, change the posting of the con content, on the content on the social media pages, the timing. All these factors are analyzed thoroughly to make sure that you know you optimize your social media marketing campaign to generate more and more leads. Then the engagement, the more the optimization, the more the engagement and you can measure the success of your social media marketing campaign. You have started with a campaign, you have the campaign ready, the strategy ready, you are implementing it, you are publishing content, you are engaging it. That is the first part. The second part is analyzing your campaign through the analytics, through the insights. That is the second part. Third part, you draw conclusions out of that analyzation. Then you know exactly what you are doing, what you are not doing, what is the right way and the wrong way. You analyze those factors, you improve and optimize that, then you measure the success. That is how actually the cycle works as far as social media analytics is concerned. What to analyze? What are the key factors that you need to analyze as your social media marketing campaign is concerned? The conversions, how many conversions are happening in terms of these goals that you have set? If you are selling something, how many products have you sold? If you are getting opt-in list, how many people have registered? If you have downloads people who you want, you want people to download, how many downloads are happening? These are your conversion goals and these are the conversion goals that you need to analyze when you are getting, how you are getting, what is your conversion goal per week, per month, in the next three months. That need to be analyzed, that need to be understood. This need to be analyzed. Reach. What is the reach of your social media marketing campaign? How many people are engaging with you? How many people are not engaging with you? The how many likes are there? How many retweets are there? This need to be analyzed. That is basically what reach is all about. The engagement, your unknown user comes to your page, 
they show curiosity, they show interest that becomes a lead. You engage with the lead, you drive conversion. You, the leads will become your customers and that is what engagement and this need to be thoroughly engaged. How many new users are coming, how many new users are converting into leads and how many leads are converting into customers that need to be thoroughly analyzed. Audience growth, the growth of the audience, you say you have 10,000 people on your social media pages, in the next 15 days how many are growing, in the next 30 days how many are growing. The growth is proportionately linked with the conversions. So it is extremely important you analyze the growth of the customers and of course the impressions. How many people are actually looking at the content that is you are posting. This impressions play a very important role in actually analyzing the behavior of the users on social media platforms. So these are the key factors that you need to analyze as far as your social media marketing campaign is concerned. How this life cycle works of a social media analytics? You track the reports, the user behavior through the analysis, then you report those tracking in data, then you analyze the data, then you assess the data, then you optimize the data. First and foremost is track the reports, generate the reports, then analyze those reports, then of course assess the reports, what you are doing, how you are doing, what are the changes that you need to do, what is that people are liking, what is that people are not liking, analyze all this information, then optimize, then again keep tracking. It has to be a continuous process. It is not like you have created <coughs> the strategy for your campaign, you are executing the campaign, publishing the content, that's it. No, that is the first part. After that, you have to track, report, analyze, optimize, assess. This is very, very important. Then it has to be a continuous process and the cycle goes on as long as you execute your campaign. Some of the tools that are available for us in social media analytics are Social Bakers, Cloud, Sprout Social and Hootsuite. These are very, very big tools, huge comprehensive analytic, analytical report can be generated from these tools. Leverage these tools to analyze your social media marketing campaigns. In conclusion, what we have seen in this video is what is social media analytics, why social media analytics, what to analyze as far as your analytics are concerned, then social media analytics life cycle and some of the tools of social media analytics. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again.